Hello everyone, uh, Dr. Raymond here and uh, today we are going to uh, demonstrate about how to check the normality uh, of a data in SPSS. So I've got a couple of variables here and uh, it, it's a full uh, panel data. Uh, you can see the country name, years, income, inward FDI, uh, so, so many many variables so uh, I'll show you first how to uh, check the normality whether your data is uh, normally distributed or no because uh, the parametric uh, tests have this uh, uh, conditionality that the data should be normally distributed we take this variable it's uh, GDP per capita right so we are going to check whether it's normally distributed or no so first we go to analyze and then descriptive statistics and explore in here uh, we have to put this uh, GDP PC it's basically a GDP per capita it's the real data which I have got from uh, the data bank world bank data so uh, it's here yeah so it's here you can okay so in statistics uh, we don't need anything it's just descriptives in plots yeah we need to check this histogram in normality plots with the test in the uh, so continue in, in options we don't need to do anything so let's let's do click OK in the case processing summary you can see total there are uh, 1064 number of observations in these all hundred percent or uh, have the data in it there is no missing values here uh, it's a hundred percent uh, coming over to the descriptives you can see that the minimum and maximum these are important uh, when when you have to do the logarithmic later on so you have to see that whether there are negative values or <clears throat> all the values are positive skiffness you can see that uh, it's 13 the value of 13 it shows that there are a lot of skewed values uh, so coming over to the test of normality uh, this Shapiro Wilk test significance is zero zero and this uh, also uh, zero zero so this means that for a normally distributed data these values of significance should be greater than 0 0.05 so this test indicates that the data is not normally distributed and uh, from the histogram also you can see that the data is hugely skewed uh, towards uh, right side so the q the, the qq plot also shows the same and uh, you see these are the outliers here so many outliers uh, this the, this box plot shows there are a lot of outliers how to uh, remove these outliers there are different methods one is uh, the observations which are given here uh, remove these observations and again check the normality uh, there is one more uh, procedure in which uh, you uh, find the z values of uh, all these variables uh, this variable the z values and uh, greater than plus minus 2.68 you have to delete those values so that's one uh, way to do that and uh, we are going to try that uh, so first uh, we'll see how to uh, create the z scores of this variable gdppc we are going to uh, descriptive statistics and descriptives and here we are going to put that variable uh, GDP PC it's here 
in in the options uh, you don't have to do anything it's just skewness and kurtosis are just checked uh, the important thing for z scores is you have to check this one safe standardized values as variables so this is how you have to do it just click ok now uh, this descriptive statistics is the same which we have already uh, observed so now we have generated uh, the values of uh, z scores uh, we can see that uh, it's already uh, yeah these are the z scores which we have generated but i've already generated these z score values here before so let's work on that z scores of gdp pc which i've already generated before we have to delete the data in uh, the, the values in this variable plus greater than plus minus 2.68 so for that purpose uh, what we are going to do we will select both of these variables and right click it in ascending sort ascending we will just sort these variables in an ascending order uh, and we'll just delete the values which are greater than plus minus 2.96 look at the z values and these are not uh, these are minus 0.23 so these this, these are not greater than minus 2.8 2.68 so let's scroll down and see where the values go beyond our uh, it's it's a basically a huge data 1000 observations right so here at the end of this positively skewed we can see that uh, the values are 1.48 2.42 3.31 so to make it uh, more uh, normally distributed uh, let's delete these values from 3 onwards right so we select these all yeah shift and arrow down arrow you can just select them and hit the button delete on your keyboard so now you have deleted all these values and uh, now let's see and you can save it here normality test but still we can try yeah our variable is already placed here so let's click ok yeah you see now uh, the n is one zero five six so they were one zero six three so now they have been reduced and we have deleted just eight number of cases and now the, our data is 99 percent valid and here you can see the skewness was 13 so from 13 the skewness has come down to 4.66 this qq plot also you see there's a uh, at the positive side there's a lot of you know skewness still and we have got a lot many uh you see outliers here and from 1017 the value 1017 to 1056 all these are outliers so let's go back and delete these values also 1017 uh yeah here you can see that 1017 yeah these values from here downwards yeah shift press shift in down arrow to select all these values below 1017 and then hit delete button see we deleted all these which the SPSS was uh, reflecting is outliers and now save this data in let's analyze descriptives in explore go again and now check yeah you see now we deleted another uh, our missing cases are 48 and valid cases are 1016 in total 1064 
and uh, our skewness is further reduced to 1.100 all right so now we are quite a bit close but not yet still it's not normally distributed because uh, the test of normality you can see the significance is still 0 0.00 so uh, here uh, this along this QQ plot you see the values should be along this line approximately along this line but these uh, you can see these are below the line then they go up and then they go come down uh, so but the shape has changed significantly with deletion of certain values uh, values from 984 onwards are uh, being depicted as outliers so to normalize the data uh, let's go and delete further uh, 984 right so here are the 984 and select these values and now let's delete uh, these ones save this and let's see how does it work now explore and check it yeah so after this deletion uh, there's not very much you know significant change still we have 1.03 although it has improved previously it was 1.1 1 .1, and now it is uh, skewness is 1.03 so the skewness has reduced but it's not reducing uh, you know significantly with further deletion of data but still we uh, kept on seeing outliers here so uh, here uh, we can do one more thing we can just uh, plot the bell curve here uh, and, and then we can see that where our data falls so for that we have to double click on this and uh, this plot is visible and you have to go to elements and then show distribution curve here you can see yeah this is a normal distribution in a lot of our data you can see here and here it's uh, outside this curve rather further uh, deletion of uh, the values what you can do is uh, you can just take logarithmic of uh, this data take positively skewed data and the the condition for taking a log is that the all the values should be positive there should not be any values in the negative uh, numbers like here the minimum values you can see it's 111.92 there are no negative values and the skewness is positively so in this case we can take a log of uh, this variable gdp per capita uh, to take a log of this variable uh, we have to go to transform and then compute variable and here let me show you yeah here you have to write that uh, the target variable name that is l and gdppc i write is l gdppc and in arithmetic go to the log 10 and click log 10 here so it should come up here so now you have to select here and select here so we so we click ok and now a new variable has been created here uh, at the end you see this one log gdp pc so now let's check the normality of this variable and let's see we remove this and we add log gdp pc to this box and then click ok uh, improved significantly and now it's 0.16 previously it was one point something and now it's 0.16 and it's minus it's a little 
negatively skewed yet uh, here the significance is still negative right so you see now the shape is uh, almost you can say that uh, it's, it's approximately uh, within that uh, bell curve so let's check this one and you can see look here so the it, it was so skewed towards the right side initially you observe and now by that we have almost brought it into uh, the normal distribution but still it's not the ideal uh, normality and uh, the you know the literature says that when there are a lot of values right so it's not literally possible for you to bring this uh, normality to uh, you know uh, above significance when when the values are more so uh, it's not really po it's not really possible so what the at that case you can just see that uh, there are different levels uh, that the skewness should not be greater than two or uh, you know it cannot be practically zero so the, the, it should be approximately uh, normal even then it's okay it's still it's fine and if you are you see now there are after taking the logarithmic there are no outliers so if you have a lot of values uh, right uh, thousands or more hundreds 400 500 values um, in that case even if uh, this normality test is not uh, you know uh, clear it, the, the, this normality test shows that the data is not normally distributed uh, but still you see you can see from this your data that uh, it's approximately uh, within this uh, curve and you can see from this uh, QQ plot initially you observed when we started with this variable uh, it was so uh, you know skewed and now it's almost approximately along this line it's not like a fictitious data where uh, the things are already pretty set up and uh, you know uh, things pretty cool and you can just make them normally distributed so uh, I'm showing you with the actual data so when you have an actual data so there can be uh, problems uh, more problems what you will not usually find in uh, uh, fictitious data so uh, for analysis uh, purpose I think at this level uh, you know uh, this data is okay although it's perfectly not normally distributed but but since we have uh, observations more than 900 observations in after deleting 81 observations uh, you know out of 1064 we have brought the data almost to uh, approximately normality although it's not a perfect normal at this time uh, so but still you can go ahead with uh, you know the analysis uh, of this data thank you very much so if you like this video then please uh, hit the like button